tretinoin and retinol are just cousins. They are the same product in two different formulations and both of them work in different way and target different skin problems and skin types. Tretinoin, which is the more stronger of the two, it is a dermatologist prescription product for the treatment of acne, open pores, photo aging as well as scars. Whereas retinol is not only a drug prescription product but it is also available in lot of these anti-aging products available over the counter. It is less irritating on the skin and can be used mostly to target fine lines and wrinkles as well as open pores but it really doesn't do too much for acne treatment. To sum it up, tretinoin is stronger, more effective in oily skin and it is definitely very useful in acne and scar treatment. Retinol is well tolerated and it is, can be used by all skin types and better to be used for people who want to treat fine lines and wrinkles. Though both of them work for fine lines and wrinkles as well. There was a very interesting study and you can find the link here which talked about uh, photo aging or fine lines and wrinkles as well as textural improvement when compared tretinoin to retinol and they found that the retinol group did much better after 12 weeks of treatment because there was much less dryness and the product was well tolerated when compared to tretinoin. So if your problem is acne, oily skin, open pores, use tretinoin. If your target is pigmentation and fine lines, use retinol. Now, why should you use tretinoin or retinol as part of your home care? These products are very useful in increasing the turnover of the skin. We all know that after the age of 20 years, the amount of collagen production in the skin reduces by 1% every year. And retinol or tretinoin is a great way of increasing the collagen turnover up to 80% in some studies. So a regular use of a night cream containing tretinoin or retinol will make sure your skin stays younger for a longer time. The third reason to include a vitamin A derivative into your night care is to control the amount of dispigmentation or the pigmentary changes which happen with dead skin buildup in our skin as we age. So even this is going to get corrected to a great extent by using retinol. How to incorporate a retinol or a tretinoin into your skincare regimen? Remember when you want to include a retinol or tretinoin, both of the products have to be under the guidance of a dermatologist who can examine your skin and recommend which is the correct retinol or tretinoin which concentration you have to start with. Always remember these products have to be used at night. Remember that you have to use a very gentle cleanser and a lot of moisturizer and sunscreen when you start this particular active as the skin may go extremely dry and try to not use it around the eyes and around the lips. Also remember you can always start with short contact therapy. You would use the retinol or the tretinoin for about one hour at night wash it off with a lot of plain water then sleep with a moisturizer on top and over the next week you keep increasing the amount of time that you leave on the product to one hour two hours three hours till you leave it on overnight these products allow your skin to become more younger and more radiant so choose your retinol or tretinoin with care who should not use a vitamin a derivative in a cream form Pregnant women and lactating women are advised to stay away from retinols as even an application of tretinoin or retinol cream on the skin could harm the unborn baby or the newborn baby. Remember, tretinoin and retinol are prescription products. Speak to your dermatologist today to get started on any one of these products.